Sport Tech Mintech coming to you from Saskatchewan, and today we're going to be talking about the goose and the gander. Okay, now you've all heard the term, what's good for the goose is good for the gander, right? Well, in order for this to make sense, you must understand that goose is the word used to describe a female goose, and gander, although it's still a town in Newfoundland, is the word used to describe a male goose. Now, Canada geese are a pretty amazing creature. They're a migratory bird, and just like most of the retirees here in Saskatchewan, they head to mid to southern U.S. for the wintertime where it's actually warm. But they always come back here to good old Canada to breed and have their children here, probably because Canada is one of the most beautiful places on planet to live, and uh, probably because of our free healthcare too, right? <laughs> Have you seen what we pay for taxes? Healthcare is not free. Anyways, the cool thing about Canada geese is they come back to the same place every year to nest. And we have a couple that return here every year to bump uglies and make babies. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like you to meet Frank and Gertie. Can you imagine the ass chewing that Frank got from Gertie when they showed up in Saskatchewan this spring and it decided to stay winter for an extra month? I told you, Frank. I said we were leaving way too early. It's still gonna be winter in Saskatchewan. Let's stay here in Arizona. But oh no, you just had to get back here because you wanted the best nesting site. Now here we are in the snow, Frank. The snow, Frank. Are you happy, Frank? So I know everybody thinks that we're just monsters, uh, you know, out in the agriculture industry here, but uh, here's a stack of bee straw bales that we're feeding the cattle. And if you can see up top, Frank and Gertie have come back and actually nested up there. Can you imagine the ass chewing Frank is getting after Gertie's been watching this stack of pea straw bales slowly disappear, getting closer and closer to their nest? I told you, Frank, I told you, let's nest on the windbreaks like we did the last five years, but oh no, Frank, you just had to pick the triple stack pea straw bales this year, didn't you, Frank? You just have to be on the tallest stack, don't you, Frank? When will you get over yourself, Frank, and put me and the kids first for once, Frank? Now we gotta get to these bales, but we're gonna help her out a little bit. Don't worry, girl, we'll relocate your home for you here. Be very gentle. I hope you're happy with yourself, Frank. Now we're on ground level. Ground level, Frank. I bet you wish it would have worked out a bit this winter in Arizona. Now, don't you, Frank? Do you know how many foxes, raccoons, and dogs you're gonna need to fight off now? I hope you're happy, Frank. Now they can't feed this pea straw bale until I hatch these eggs, Frank. Do you know the kind of pressure that puts on me, Frank? Hey, see, we try and help wildlife out here every chance that we get. We're not just a bunch of barbarians. Poor Frank. <laughs> Hey, when those goslings hatch, I'll make sure to get some footage of them running around, scurrying all about. They're actually pretty cute to watch. But until then, this is Quick Dick McDick signing off, reminding you, before you start chirping, be careful what you pander, because what is good for the goose is always good for the gander. We'll... Well, let's talk about my beard for a second before we go here. You know, there's a lot of people that haven't been paying attention to what's going on with the two options that we've got on the Save It or Shave It campaign that I'm running right now for the Braid Not Break Close Cuts for Cancer fundraiser here in 2022. That means we can save this thing or shave this thing. And how this works is people are like, hey, quick kick, you should just shave it. Maybe you should just get a trim. Maybe you should do this. That's not how this works, people. This thing either stays or it goes. Actually, you know what? Let's go see what this thing looks like when it's tidied up a little bit. Windshield washer fluid in this thing. Get greasy out here. Hoo -hoo, hoo -hoo. Little bit of water kicking around the countryside. Get out of there, you seagulls, little bastard. Morty, your back right tire feels a little squishy.
listen, there's something going on out there with this beer fundraiser that I got going on. People think trimming and styling it's an option, and it's not. But do you want to show them what it looks like trimming this out? Sure. That's the straightest my beard has ever been. I, I will get my ass kicked if I go in public like this. Actually, I want to kick my own ass looking like this. I... Huh? Look like a Viking. I, I feel the need to conquer something all of a sudden. Uh, it's amazing. Yes. You are magic. I didn't realize my beard was this long. Oh, thanks, Mandy. That's awesome. <laughs> Seriously, just put your hat on. The cows don't care. Let's be realistic here. <laughs> Thank you. I suppose. Have a good day. Thank you, Quick Check. See, this is why I never go get cleaned up because we're less than 24 hours later and I'm just a hot mess again. Listen, folks, do you want to save it or do you want to shave it? Click the link below this video, make a donation to the Cancer Foundation of Saskatchewan in partnership with the Braid Not Break Close Cuts for Cancer, and you can have your say whether this thing stays or whether this thing goes. Listen, all donations are going to the Cancer Foundation of Saskatchewan, and this thing either stays or it goes. It's, it's that simple. Whoever raises the most money wins. It's that easy. This is Quick Tech Tech signing off, reminding you, it is not prim it or trim it. It's save it or shave it. We'll catch you next time. The cutoff is this Friday, people. Make sure to click the link below this video and vote to save it or shave it and help support the Cancer Foundation of Saskatchewan.